Welcome back to my G1 Retro Reviews. Today, we're taking a look at the original Transformers series episode, The Golden Lagoon. In this episode, Beachcomber discovers a pool of Electrum, which apparently makes the Transformers invulnerable to damage for a short time. But when both the Autobots and Decepticons discover this titular Golden Lagoon, they fight over it until there is nothing left. This episode begins with the Autobots going for a stroll along the beach. Aww, how sweet. When Perceptor finds a rock. Suck on this. This specimen has traces of gold and silver. So what do we care about? Wow, gold and sorry, silver! Well, they were two of the best Pokemon games ever, but maybe that's just me. The Autobots are attacked by Blitzwing, Thrust, and Ramjet. Hmm, for one thing, it's interesting that Blitzwing seems to be in command of the two Coneheads. I guess that means that he outranks them? And two, this is an odd combination of Transformers, don't you think? I guess these are the toys that Hasbro wanted to advertise in this episode. Blitzwing and Warpath briefly face off. Hmm. This reminds me of when they fought in the episode Dinobot Island. Are they trying to build up these two tank bots as rivals? Meanwhile, Beachcomber has wandered off. And he finds himself surrounded by adorable little woodland creatures. Such as birds, bunnies, deers, and an armadillo? He even tries communicating with the little critters. Huh. Beachcomber is almost like a Disney princess or something. Aww, how cute. You know, now that I've watched more of My Little Pony Friendship is Magic, I'm really looking forward to the second crossover comic between them and the Transformers. I really hope that there's a story with Fluttershy and Beachcomber together. They have so much in common. They have very similar passive, easygoing attitudes, and they both love animals. It would be so cute to see the two of them together. I think they would be great friends. But continuing with this episode, it is here that Beachcomber discovers the titular Golden Lagoon. <gasps> great Maximus. Great Maximus? I'm not sure I'm familiar with him. There's Grand Maximus, who is Fortress Maximus's brother. Ooh, another sibling pair to add to the list. There's Brave Maximus from R.I.D. Christmas Maximus from Transformers Armada. Superion, Bruticus, and Constructicon Maximus from Transformers Energon. There's the original 13 member, Nexus Prime, who was originally named Nexus Maximus, but then Hasbro had to change it after they googled the term Nexus Maximus with safe search turned off. And well, let's just say that Maximus is a very popular name in Transformers. So I don't want to list literally every Maximus to ever exist. Besides, I think I run this joke into the ground as it is. And Beachcomber may not even be referencing an actual bot anyways. He could just be using it as an exclamation. Like Great Scott. <gasps> Great Scott! Okay, an animal lover, and now a Back to the Future reference? I better watch myself, or else I might fall in love with Beachcomber. Hmm, he is blue. Okay, okay, I better move on with this episode review. So Thrust also discovers the Electrum Pool and dives right in. Hmm, I'm surprised that there isn't a Golden Lagoon Thrust figure, considering that he's the first to fully cover himself in the stuff. Thrust demonstrates his invulnerability as the Autobots prove to be no match for him in this state. And he takes Sea Spray and Perceptor captive. Megatron once again uses Starscream as his guinea pigatron, and when it proves successful, all the Decepticons go for a swim in the pool. Aww, I wish I could go swimming right now. Sure wish Mirage was here, we could use it. Your wish is granted. Huh? Why? I've been here for ten minutes. I don't get it. Why were you hiding? Although, I will say that it's nice that Powerglide was thinking of Mirage. Maybe the two are friends. The Autobots battled the Decepticons, who seem to be baffled by their invulnerability. Even the mighty Omega Supreme is ineffective against the gilded Decepticons. When Thundercracker and Skywarp go to retrieve Beachcomber, 
we see them take off their arm blasters and use them as handheld weapons. Kind of like the Seekers in the War for Cybertron trilogy. When they escape the Decepticons underwater base, Sea Spray is able to transform his backpack into a water jetpack, which I think is pretty cool. I wish his toy could do that. Thanks for nothing, Lawbirds! Wait, exactly how were Beachcomber and Sea Spray able to incapacitate Dirge if he was invulnerable? Well, looks like we all found out about this place at the same time. Come on in, the Electrum's fine! Aww, that's going to be me once the public pool opens up. Attack! Wait, how deep was that Electrum pool if Omega Supreme could be submerged in it? Also, could you imagine a Titan-class Golden Lagoon Omega Supreme? It would be so expensive, so delicate, but I kind of want it. We briefly see Bumblebee covered in Electrum. Foreshadowing, maybe? Back! I'm better than ever! Look at this new paint job! I've gone beyond being just plain old Bumblebee. I'm a gold bug! The Decepticon's color is fading! Yeah, that'll happen when you don't store your figures properly. Colors fade white plastic yellows, all that stuff. Obliterate the lagoon! If we can't have it, nobody can! So the MacGuffin of this episode is destroyed. And sadly, so is the beautiful little oasis surrounding it. We won. Aw, poor Beachcomber. Well, this was a great and very memorable episode of G1, and a pretty good character episode for Beachcomber. This episode also kind of reminded me of the Beast Wars one, Law of the Jungle. Hmm, I know I mentioned earlier about how I think Beachcomber would probably be good friends with Fluttershy, but I think you could probably add Tigatron to that list too. Aww, now I want to see art of these three together. But speaking of Beast Wars, I wonder, where was this Golden Lagoon during that series? And where did this Electrum come from? Hmm, you don't suppose that this was another creation of the Valk, and it just so happened that the Maximals, Predacons, or humans for that matter, never found this secluded spot? Eh, probably not. Well, be sure to let me know what you thought of this episode of G1 down in the comments. Remember to like, subscribe, and do all that other fun stuff, and I'll see you back here next time for the next episode of the original Transformers series, The God Gambit. So I'll see you back here next week for that one.